Everybody, we show up in the party, fly it and everybody. We show up in the party, fly it and everybody. We show up in the party, fly it and everybody. What's going on everybody? It's ya boy Carbon and today I'm coming at you with some more Call of Duty news, man, and this one is a little weird. And it also includes Call of Duty World War II, but let's jump right into it on this Saturday. I hope you guys have enjoyed the fact that I uploaded today's video last night. I wanted you guys to get that news as soon as possible, so I'll go ahead and upload this, uh, upload this one today as well. But new reports from multiple sources state that Activision Blizzard employees are bracing for a big round of layoffs at the company next week, with reports stating that layoffs are expected on either Monday or Tuesday. The new report states that layoffs at the company could be in the hundreds, one of the larger layoffs at the company in years. So the news comes as Activision Blizzard, along with many publishers in the industry, are facing a rocky financial quarter with new uncertainties in the gaming industry. And Bloomberg first reported uh, the news stating that the layoffs are a part of a restructuring aimed at centralizing functions and boosting profit. Because, you know, that's what these big businesses are all about. Just making the money, not what we want, you know? Doesn't care about what the customers want as long as they're making the money. Too bad they just can't decide that they can make their money if they just give us what we want. You know, we, we're willing to buy what you're willing to give us, but you're not giving us what we want to buy. You know what I'm saying? So on Blizzard's side, 2018 had been a year of cost cutting and budget reallocations and also Activision executives have been looking for ways to increase profit but Blizzard has only been releasing expansions and update to current portfolio and have not released a new game since Overwatch back in 2016 which was a wild success success going for a little while so Kotaku reports that some of the layoffs are not of developer re related roles but rather marketing uh, publishing and those divisions with Blizzard's redundant roles, um, you know, expected to be replaced with those within Activision. So, people who work or have worked at Blizzard have said that they expect Tuesday's layoffs to be primarily in the non-game development departments, such as publishing, marketing, and sales. But some of those jobs and roles may then fall to Activision, you know, proper for further reducing Blizzard's, you know, autonomy. And then Activision, on the other hand, also had a shaky year. While Call of Duty continues to be successful, with the franchise the best-selling franchise in the 10th year in a row, according to NPD, the publisher no longer has Destiny in their portfolio. That's right. They no longer have Destiny as a part of their portfolio, reducing their profits for the year. So Activision also, you know, has employees... and a number of which on staff to work on Destiny, and many of those people no longer have work now at Destiny, and all in Bungie's hands now. And that's sad, but Kotaku reports that many of the Destiny staff have been able to find other jobs within Activision, but some are not available to find opportunities. Two people closed the company, um, two people in the company pretty much said that there have been a few opportunities for those former Destiny staff to move to other teams, but those opportunities are very limited and members of that department are perhaps the most worried about their job security. And I could be worried about it too. Activision is a big company. The fact that they are gonna be laying people off says a lot about them in the long run. It really does. But guys, that's not the only news we have talking about today. It really isn't. We also are gonna be talking about World War II. You guys remember that game? The one that had a lot more updates for its game than Black Ops 4 does for this one? Well, Sledgehammer Games plans to add new weapons to World War II. So Sledgehammer commented on Call of Duty World War II subreddit and stated that they plan to add more weapons to Call of Duty World War II in the next few months. And I've already deleted that game. Do I, do I undelete it? Do I re-download it? Some fans were asking for the Reddit, or asking on Reddit, if uh, SHG plans to expand, you know, Sledgehammer Games, by the way, plans to expand support. And, you know, some have been saying that their supply drops, you know, to open for new content that the team mentioned back in December. So Sledgehammer Games says that in March, new unreleased variants of currently existing weapons will be added and then later in spring new weapons across all weapon categories will be added that's a game that came out over a year ago guys and they're getting better updates than us on black ops 4 can you believe it they said we have a plan that's close to final of unlocking some unreleased variants for existing weapons starting next month and some bigger batch release new weapons spanning 
all weapon categories starting later in the spring. So Sledgehammer said that they are still working with Activision and other internal studios to line up the release of their new content, you know, for Call of Duty World War II, and that's why they have been, or that's why there has been no info since their tease back in December with Winter Siege's return. So to those holding out, um, hoarding SDs for their chance, you know, at new weapons in Call of Duty World War II, like Golden Gunner 79, you know, everyone appreciates, you know, your patience and hustling to add some fresh new weapons to the game, but I want some for Black Ops 4, man. It takes time to align internally and with partners at ATVI along with other studios, and they, if they can just all come together, it's a long shot and a man can dream. But the only reason I feel like these games are being oversold is because of their popularity in the past, not their popularity to come in the future. A lot of us aren't ex excited about what's to come into the future. It's, you know, it's weird. They're saying that Blackout doesn't get any more competitive than multiplayer, and they're not planning on doing any more competitions or tournaments or anything like that. Um, they did say that they're adding more merits to Blackout, but not in the way we expect. And then they're telling us there's going to be an update on the 20th, but not getting us any news about it. So basically getting us all excited for what? A couple more buildings? It's time to give us the news on what we are to expect in the future with the game that we are supposed to love and are slowly falling out of love with. So please give us that information. Let us know what the updates are going to be bringing. Let us know uh, how many updates you plan on releasing and how much effort you actually plan on putting into Blackout. If I'm going to run this channel on Blackout, you know, one of my favorite games, I'm going to have to love it. And if not, Apex, you know, I might be here I come. I don't want to do it, but the bad news is already there. Unless they can give me some good news, I don't know what to do. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you have a happy Saturday. Catch me live streaming. It's been fun. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscribe. Let me know what I did wrong. You guys always do. Guys, it's been fun. Peace. We show up in the party, fire and everybody. We show up in the party, fire and everybody. We show up in the party, fire and everybody. We show up in the party, fire and everybody. We show up in the party, fire and